Hi, I'm Rachel, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about a company called Point Marketing. Um, I chose this company because I've worked alongside them for three years, and I just, throughout the whole class, they're kind of the company that I've thought about a lot, and um, they have just a lot of ex strong examples, and I've been able to observe them as a company as well. So Point Marketing is a door-to-door -door sales company that uh, mostly works in pest control sales. I personally have worked in pest control as a technician, so not as a salesperson. So I've worked closely with the company and they've been the one that's given me the position as a technician for three summers. Um, as a door-to-door -door sales company, they have around 200 employees. Their headquarters for the marketing is in Orem, Utah. And um, they send out teams to different parts of the country every summer and each team consists of about 15 to 30 um, sales representatives. In the summer, individuals will go out and knock doors and um, sell pest control to people in the neighbor neighborhood. Um, and this company has been around for about 15 years. Um, next, I'm gonna analyze the culture at Point Marketing. Um, culture, the three key levels of analysis in organizational behavior are the individual, the group, and the organization. So that's exactly what we're going to analyze today. So the individual is what we call a sales bro. Um, most of the employees at Point Marketing are all um, independent, basically business owners. They're all considered their own business. They are all self-accountable. They're... Um, and they all earn money based on commission, so none of them have given pay basically when they go in. Besides, like the leaders, there's leadership as well. So the individual, um, the personalities that thrive within this organization are well. We know of the big five personalities, and the two that thrive the most are conscientiousness and extroversion. Um, so you need someone that is organized, systematic, punctual achievement oriented and and dependable um, that would be a con conscientious person and then an extrovert as well someone who's sociable enjoys social situations and being talkative and being outgoing because they're going to be out there talking to um maybe 100 people a day knocking 100 doors a day and so um, and then they just need to be achievement and goal ori oriented as well and um, be punctual and be dependable and be self-accountable um and then motivation is also a big part of what what makes this company thrive and the individual thrive. They need to have the right motivation to be there. Door-to-door um, -door sales is a job that requires a lot of motivation. So that's the individual. The group as a whole, so door-to-door -door sales in general is, um, is really common and I'm sure like everyone <laughs> knows what door-to-door -door sales is, but um, door to door sales and pest control sales is considered a market culture. So, in the competi competing values framework, um, this is going to be a, a s structure and control. So, they value structure and control and with an external focus. And so, um, they're very results oriented, getting the job done. They value competition and they value achievements. So sales is all about the results and um, they motivate their employees through basically through rewards, through achievements, through, I mean, their pay is commission based. So, um, and they're able to get sales because people aren't going to make, the, the employees aren't going to make money unless they make the sales. And so um, it's a very competitive environment and um that's just kind of the sales culture. Uh, and then the organization, which is point marketing specifically. Um, point marketing, I've really enjoyed working with this company because they have a really strong value system. So the value system kind of comes from obviously obviously the founders um, and that's where it's, it's formed and then implemented. There's a lot of different door-to-door -door sales companies out there, but point marketing stands out because um, they're, because of their culture. Every company has a different culture. And so um, I think the culture at, at Point Marketing 
is very family oriented and family friendly. It's also, it treats each individual as a member of the family. And um, some, the company has uh, some instrumental values or values that they see as acceptable ways to act that are different than other companies. Like some sales companies will cut corners or they will try to increase contract values and things like that um, just to get the sale. But uh, point marketing is all about quality and providing the best quality for their customers at the lowest price. And so they're very customer centered and people centered company. Um, and they they really value just the service that they're able to provide for people. And um, so the org organization and the culture within point marketing is very positive. And um, I've seen a lot of people go from, from other companies and heard a lot of people's testimonies of moving from other pest control companies to point and how they've really enjoyed that. Okay, so some characteristics that make the company successful are number one, the cohesion within the team. Um, each team becomes like a family. You get sent out to an area, uh, like a city, say, I went, we went to Tulsa, Oklahoma last summer, and the, sa the whole sales team, they're put in apartments together, they're living the whole summer together, they're experiencing all of the traumas of sales together, and, and they're having meetings together every day, they're driving out to area every day together. So just everything they do together, they become they become like a family. And I feel like uh, Point does a really good job at making it more of a family culture than like a bro culture, um, making it just really inclusive and um, looking out for the one. Um, transformational leadership is another characteristic that makes the company unique and successful. Sales um, salesmen in general tend to be um, charismatic and inspirational and motivated, but you find that the leaders within these sales teams are generally transformational leaders, and that's what um, makes them successful as leaders, is their ability to use charisma, inspirational motivation, um, intellectual st stimulation, and individualized consideration to influence all of their followers and so um basically i mean they have motivation meetings every day and the leaders guide them along and then another characteristic that makes them unique is the contingent reward uh, they reward their employees for their accomplishments so they have lots of incentives along the way as well as just the money uh, they have trips they have all kinds of things that just keep the, the members motivated and um and that's what makes them successful. To close, some suggestions I have um, for the company to improve the culture and improve the organization is just to work on leadership. Um, so they send out each team and they have generally like a handful of leaders and one or two main leaders to help lead all, the, all of the sales team. And I, the leaders tend to lead by a passive management style. So they kind of let... They put them on their doors and they leave employees alone and let them just kind of work and, and and do what they can. The leaders are also out there selling at the same time. Um, and then passive management by exception to like come and help if they need help. But most of the time they're just going to give them some words of encouragement or call them. Um, I think they could be a little bit more proactive as leaders in helping, helping those that are struggling to succeed or helping... The rookies to, to train as well. Um, another thing that that I think is a weakness in the company is just their training of rookies. A lot of what I've seen is a lot of rookies aren't even able to make it in the sales world and you know some of them just aren't fit for sales but they should have more experiences training and preparing to get out on the doors. Um, including blitzes a lot of companies will do blitzes and our company doesn't do this company point marketing does not do a blitz so they could provide more opportunities to help train and prepare rookies so that they have the self-efficacy when they hit the doors but overall point marketing is a really great company and um 
they're helping change a lot of lives.